Hello everyone, this is Anud Sethi and welcome back to another video by AMS Group of Institutes. Now today's video is part of a series called Accounting for Shares. So all those people who are new, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever we upload the next video. So let's get it on with today's video. Now in this video, we will talk about Colin Arias and how to account Colin Arias. Before we move on to the accounting, let's first get to know what is Colin Arias. So as you can see on the screen behind me, Colin Arias is that called up amount which remains unpaid by the shareholders. Now mind you, not all the shareholders might default. There might be some of them. So the Colin Arias amount will be that portion of amount which these defaulters have not paid. Now this is an asset for the company. If the directors decide, they can also charge an interest rate on this. Now how to account for that interest rate, we will see in another video. So here we will focus on Colin Arias. Now let's move towards the formula. What is the formula for calculating the Colin Arias amount? The formula is as you can see, the number of shares of the defaulting party multiplied by the called up amount. So this is how you will calculate the Colin Arias amount. So let's move forward with the accounting. As you can see on the screen behind me, there are two methods. Today we will talk about the first method that is using the Colin Arias account. The second method is using is not using the Colin Arias account. So firstly, we'll focus on the first method that is we will use the Colin Arias account while accounting. So let's move forward with the question, which is the best way to learn. So, AMS Limited has issued 1 lakh shares of rupees 10 each. Now we have been given the installments. That is application, allotment, first call and the second and final call. So there are 4 installments. In the additional information we have been given that Mr. A who held 10,000 shares, he defaulted on the first call and the second and final call. Now in this case, we will not have to calculate the number of shares held by the defaulting party because this is not a pro rata allotment. Now, what is pro rata allotment? This is a topic for another video. So, let's move forward with the journal entries. Now, this is the first method in which we will use the Colin Arias account. So, let's move forward with the accounting. Firstly, we will have the journal entry for receiving the applications. The entry will be bank account debit to share application account credit. Now what will be the amount? It will be the number of shares that is 1 lakh multiplied by the application money which was rupees 2 as you can see over here. So the total amount which we will receive in the first entry is 2 lakh rupees. So let's go. Bank debit by 2 lakh rupees and application credited by 2 lakh rupees. Now since there is no pro rata allotment we will accept all these applications. Now these applications will become the owners of the company. So we will transfer it to share capital, the whole amount that is 2 lakh rupees. So application debited by 2 lakh rupees and the share capital credited by 2 lakh rupees. So if you can see over here, the application, the share application account now has a closing balance of zero. It is debited and credited by 2 lakh rupees. So let's move forward with the next installment that is allotment. So take a pause over here and note that from the installment a trend starts. That is firstly you will make the money due or capitalize it and then you will receive this money. So let's move forward with the entries. First entry will be we are making due or capitalizing the allotment money. That was 3 rupees. So the entry will be share allotment account debit to share capital 1 lakh shares into 3 rupees so this is 3 lakh so share allotment debited by 3 lakhs and the share capital credited by again 3 lakh rupees now there was no default in allotment so we will receive each and every rupee so the next entry will be we are receiving the allotment money entry will be bank account debit to share allotment account credit and we are receiving the whole amount. There is no default in that. So that is 3 lakh rupees. Bank debited by 3 lakh rupees and allotment credited by 3 lakh rupees. Now, if again you notice over here, the share allotment, 
Now the closing balance is zero. Let's move forward with the first call. Now over here, you can see that there was a default in the first call. So firstly, we will make the money due. We will not record the default in the due entry or capitalization entry. We will record the arrears in the payment entry when we receive the payment. So firstly, following the trend, we will capitalize the first call. Entry will be first call account debit to share capital. It was 2 rupees and there are 1 lakh shares. So the amount is 2 lakh rupees. So first call debited by 2 lakh rupees to share capital credited by again 2 lakh rupees. Now over here we have to take a caution because there is a default in this. Mr. A having 10,000 shares defaulted on the first call. So let's calculate what will be the amount. Let's go to the working note. The amount will be as we have seen in the formula the number of shells held by the defaulter party multiplied by the called up amount. In our case the number of shares were 10,000 and the called up amount of the first call was 2 rupees. So the total call in arrears or the default amount was 20,000 rupees. So rupees 20,000. So let's go back to the entries. Over here there is the entry that bank account debit call in arrears account debit to the first call. Now since we are using the first method that is call in arrears account is being used. You will credit the first call with the entire amount which you have debited in the earlier entry. That is the full 2 lakh rupees. So in this case first call will be credited by 2 lakh rupees. So 2 lakh rupees on the credit side. We have already calculated the call in arrear amount that was 20,000 rupees. So we will debit it by 20,000. Call in arrears account debit 20,000. Now since 20,000 is the default, you will receive only the balance amount that is 1,80,000 rupees. So bank account debited by 1,80,000 rupees. Next we will move to the second and final call. Again follow in the trend, we will firstly capitalize it, that is make it due and then we will do the payment entry. So the capitalizing entry will be second and final call account debit to share capital. The number of shares were 1 lakh and the second amount, second call amount was 3 rupees. So the total amount comes to 3 lakh rupees. So second and final call account debited by 3 lakhs and share capital credited by 3 lakhs. So let's move forward with the payment entry. Now over here there is a default. So firstly we will calculate what was the default amount. So let's go to the working note. The call in arrear in this will be the number of shares held by the defaulter multiplied by the called up amount. The number of shares held by the defaulter remains the same. It is 10,000 shares. Only the called up amount changes that is in this call the second and final call 3 rupees. So the call in arrear amount in the second and final call payment entry will be 30,000 rupees. So 30,000. Now we have the amounts. Let's go back to the entry over here. Now since we are using the first method in which call in arrears is being used, you will credit the second and final call with the whole amount which you made due in the above entry. That is 3 lakh rupees. So second and final call account credited by 3 lakh rupees. The call in arrears amount which we have calculated was 30,000. So call in arrears will be debited by 30,000 rupees. And now you will receive only the balance amount that is 2,70,000 rupees. So bank account debited by 2,70,000 rupees. So this is it for today's video. If you found this video to be useful then please give it a thumbs up and share this link with the fellow peers and students. If you want us to make another video on any other topic, then please use the comment section below. Please share, like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And as always, happy learning.